what is up guys and welcome to the support video today i'm going to be teaching you how to solve any internet or network issues you're having on a pc that's running windows now some of the stuff we cover at the end of the video may be a little bit more on the advanced side but don't worry we're going to show you everything step by step so you can follow along and also if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section of this video or use a support link in the description of this video for a faster response and don't forget to subscribe for more technical support videos on devices that you own as we push to make this community the number one in consumer tech on the internet also check the description for any of the commands that you see typed in in this video let's get started troubleshooting your connection issue one of the first things you should always check is the physical stuff make sure the network wires are connected if you're using a LAN connection make sure the router and modem are working by trying to connect to the internet from another device i know it sounds like a no-brainer but you'd be surprised now if your pc is connecting to the network via wi-fi try forgetting that wi-fi network and reconnecting to it you can easily do this by clicking on the network connection in your tray finding the connection you're using to connect right click on that connection then click forget give it a couple of seconds then click reconnect now keep in mind that you do have to know your network password to get reconnected so you might want to have that jotted down first did you know that windows has a built-in troubleshooter for just about any problem that you may have well they do and you can easily access that by hitting your windows button to bring up the search menu at the bottom you're going to type in troubleshoot settings from there if you don't see anything recommended that's okay we're just going to click on other troubleshooters and then on internet connection and from there just follow the on-screen prompts windows is going to try to diagnose the issue that you may be having in your computer and get you connected at the very minimum this step will make sure that everything is working the way it's supposed to sadly when it comes to computers sometimes the very thing that's there to protect us is also the very thing that's causing our issue in this case i'm talking about the windows built-in firewall so we're going to try to disable that and see if you can get connected and the first step to doing that again is just hitting your windows button to bring up your search option in that search menu you're going to type in windows security click on firewall and network protection then you're going to click on private network and then we're going to turn off the microsoft defender firewall toggle switch once that's off we're going to try to reconnect and see if your problems are solved you know what let's also check to make sure your drivers are up to date because sometimes it is just that simple we're going to hit the windows button to bring up your search option we're going to type in device manager we're going to expand the network adapters at the top you should see the network adapters you're using to connect right click on that connection then click update now since you're not connected to the network the auto option won't work so you're going to click on browse my computer then you're going to click on try from the list and you're just going to install the drivers from top to bottom testing your connection each time to see if that worked you've made it this far so i'm assuming still no good huh well now we're gonna get serious we're gonna get a little bit more advanced so strap in and let's get started first let's check your pc for proxy servers and then we're gonna check your dsn and ip settings so go ahead and hit your windows button to bring up your start option then we're gonna type in control panel then we're gonna go to network and internet internet options your connections tab scroll down to LAN settings and we're going to check to make sure if the proxy server is checked if it is uncheck it and then make sure that all settings are set to automatic then we're just going to click back and go a couple menus back to the network sharing center then we're going to click on your connection in the corner here then click on property then click on tcp ipv4 and we're going to also make sure that those settings are all set to automatic now after doing this i found that sometimes you just have to reset the adapter to get it going again and the easiest way to do this is by clicking on the change adapter setting in your network and sharing center then right click on the adapter that you're using click disabled wait a couple of seconds then click enable again now for the next couple of steps we're going to be using your windows command prompt and these commands that we're going to be typing in are listed in the video description so you can copy and paste when possible because that's always easier so the first thing we want to do is hit the windows button to bring up your search option now we're going to type in cmd we're going to right click on the command prompt and run as the administrator and the first command we're going to type in is net sh space winsock space reset then press enter next we're going to type in net sh again but this time space int space ip base reset and press enter and finally we're going to type in net sh space int space ip space reset space reset log dot txt and press enter now after these are completed you're going to require a reboot on the computer so just go ahead and follow the normal reset options click on your windows button click reset once it's back up check to see if your connections are 
restored. Ho hopefully they are. Next, we're going to clean up your DSN cache and make sure you have your command prompt open under administrator following the previous steps. And then we're going to type in IP config space forward slash flush DSN. Press enter. Next, we're going to type in IP config space forward slash release. We're going to wait for everything to go through. And we're also just going to check your network connection and wait for it to reconnect. Once it looks like it's reconnected, you're going to go ahead and type in IP config space forward slash renew. After typing in the renew command, check your connection and hopefully that this fixes your connection issue. If not, if all else has failed, I think it's time for us to hit that reset button. It's going to reset your network connection completely. And to do that, we're going to bring up your settings, go to network and internet. We're going to scroll down just a tad and hit the network reset button. Now this will reset everything to its factory default settings. It's like starting from scratch. So hopefully this finally will get you back online. Hopefully one of these steps helps you get reconnected. Don't forget if you like the video, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps to support us a lot. And of course, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section of this video or using the support link in the description for a faster reply. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. And as always, remember to stay safe, stay technical. Until I see you next time, peace.